Hi everybody, it's Kelly and today I am here to share with you my altered, not quite sure what it is actually, I guess it's a mirror box and look there's my head, see my head, um, apologies that's the mirror in the background, so um, I had great fun creating this, I'm not entirely sure to be honest what inspired me, um, I'm guessing it's because I did the um, Wizard of Oz thing that you would have seen with the graphic 45 paper and this I really wanted then to do something Alice in Wonderland because I've always as a kid liked you know Alice in Wonderland and Wizard of Oz and some other films too so this started out as a plain black box with a mirror in the background and I think it was supposed to be like a cabinet shelf or something for a bathroom but I thought it would be really really cool to make into a kind of shadow box type scene I suppose so I think really the best way for me to show you this is to take you guys off of the tripod but obviously that means it's going to be a bit shaky so I might make you sick so I do apologise so I'll give you a quick overview of the sides first so this is the front then this is one side yeah you can see that fab and turn you back around this is on my bed so it's not too flat I apologise and this is another side so I think I might take you, actually let's turn it back round before I take you off the tripod, that would be sensible. Just turn it back round. Okay. If I take you off the tripod now. bang -de bang -de bang -de bang Right. Okay. So, let's start with the clock. I love this dripping, melting clock, which goes from the top right the way down. And this started out, out like silver. So I've just painted that white because I thought it would make a really nice contrast to this paper that I put on here. And all the papers for this are actually either printouts from the internet and the pictures of Alice and the characters and what have you are all from a book that I've got and I just scanned them into the computer and printed them off. So yeah, so this is the clock. Like I said, really cool dripping clock and on the top of that clock there, there is the flower. And all the flowers on here I've handmade, I've made them all myself, sort of made them all up as I went along, and they're all made out of playing cards, miniature playing cards. So it's, so the idea behind this was I wanted to put all the pictures on and then all my favourite phrases from the film. So round the sides, the backing is this black and white paper. I'm going to move you around so you can see. Which is, um, like I said, a printout from the internet. And then the front sides, it's the red and white. And then there's quite a few curl backs on the paper which have got the red and white underneath. Then inside the box at the bottom it's a plain piece of paper playing cards and they're in like a swirly shape. And to the sides they're playing cards and they're black on one side and red on the other. So if we start at the top, um, there is this flower piece here which I fussy cut from one of the images in the book. There is a double curl back here, there's some lace underneath there, and here's one of the phrases which says curiouser and curiouser. There is uh, Alice and the Dame, is it the Dame? I can't remember her name. Uh, then we have the Hatter and the Rabbit dunking the mouse in the teapot, and another fussy cut flower piece, and another one of those handmade flowers from the um, playing cards. Then if I come over to this side, I have this man here. Now I fussy cut his arm and his hand and his legs and his head out of uh, an image on the paper, um, but his body itself is an actual playing card, so that's quite cool. This hand I cut from the paper line and I've left it unstuck at the bottom, it's only stuck at the top, and that is over a doorknob image which I got off the internet and covered in glossy accents. And then we have this sentiment here which says, sometimes I believe in as many as six impossible things before breakfast so that's another one of my favorite phrases then we have alice with the pig some more fussy cut flowers there's a rolled corner at the bottom there as you can see and another picture of the hatter and that one says have i gone mad i'm afraid so you're entirely bonkers but i'll tell you a secret all the best people are and i say that to my daughter quite a lot so that's that side then i hope i'm not making you sick i apologize Coming back round to the top and um, down to this side, so that's going to be upside down for you guys. It says, 
begin at the beginning and go on until you come to the end then stop so I love that phrase then we have a rolled corner there there is the white rabbit and some more fussy cut flowers there are some more handmade flowers there and another sentiment that says if I had a world of my own everything would be nonsense nothing would be what it is because everything would be what it isn't and contrary wise what is it wouldn't be and what it wouldn't be it would you see um, and then down to the bottom I have another image of Alice and she's sitting down I have another handmade flower to the left bottom there and the cake which is from Tando Creative some more fussy cut flowers to the side and the thing that says eat me which I've just painted in red and put some glossy accents from on sorry and that's also from Tando Creative so if we come back round to the front at the top here we have this sign this banner and it says off with their heads and then we have this girl that sort of goes from the side round to the front as if she's reaching behind the clock um, then to this side we have Alice down here and Alice is doing the you're nothing but a pack of cards scene and she's throwing the cards and then the cards overlap the clock and then again we've got another card man which I did the same thing with I cut his hands and head and etc out of the paper line but I actually stuck him to a card and then there's another sentiment that says I knew who I was this morning but I've changed a few times since then then what we can do is the clock is actually it's a fully working clock I just haven't put batteries in it yet but that is removable so if we take that off hi it makes it a little bit easier to see on the inside so there's a phrase right at the back there which has got the Cheshire cat on it and it says you used to be much more mucher you've lost your muchness so I love that phrase then there is that um, paper in the background which is reflected so that looks really cool there is Alice when she grows like a telescope you've got the um, Queen of Hearts down there at the back I'm sorry I'm trying not to get myself in this too much you've got the tea party scene then in the corner uh, we've got a bottle which I've covered in the same paper and that's all three dimensional it's popped up um, then you've got the um, rabbit there and you've got another phrase which says why is a raven like a writing desk back to the front we've got we're all mad here and that was actually printed off the internet that one then you've got drink me which is by tando creative which i've painted black and covered in glossy accents and then at the front here we've got uh three little toadstools and we've got alice standing here some more fussy cut flowers got two toadstools that are stood up and one that's lying down which i've painted and then i've covered the bases in texture paste uh, sorry texture paint and there is the caterpillar the phrase on the front says I'm afraid I can't explain myself sir because I am not myself you see then there's this large flower here which I've made again from cards this one's the biggest one it's it's really big actually I'd say maybe two and a half inches I love this one and the little phrase that says down the rabbit hole then there is a key down there which obviously goes with the door then here to this side we have Alice again and she's drink holding the bottle that says drink me and then there is the is it Griffin I can't remember what it is behind there and then behind that we have a scene of the three card men these are the actual paper line ones and they're painting the roses painting the roses red and then there's another sentiment on the side which says no wise fish would go anywhere without a porpoise so yeah that I think about sums it up so there we go hope you like it so that's what it looks like without the clock on and um, again let me put the clock back on quickly so you can just see that sorry close up Alice's feet for a minute just put the clock back on sorry guys I think it looks a lot better with the clock and there we go with the clock back on so I hope you like it let me know if you have any questions or comments and I'll insert some still photos now um guys don't forget I've still got my giveaway going on I'm getting slightly worried that I haven't had many entries boo sad face um please enter it'd be really cool I'd love to see what you come up with anyway take care guys bye, bye. <laughs>